you may not have heard of oxalates or oxalic acid, but it really is one of the self reason why so many of us have these health challenges. And the good news is, even though it's pervasive, and in many foods that you think are healthy, like spinach smoothies and almond milk and beet, uh, beet leaves, uh, there are simple, inexpensive strategies that you can use to radically lower them and help eliminate these toxins from your body and improve your health. Like so many other people who are now discovering this, I was the kind of person who, no matter what I did, I could not create the vibrant, robust health that I felt that I wanted, I felt was intended for me to have. And it's just perpetual frustration. The story here is that we're eating foods that are full of a toxin called oxalate, which is a tiny little chemical. It's fundamentally messing with the basics of metabolism that allows tissue cover, recovery and repair allows growth. We tend to see oxalate keeping old injuries in place where you don't fully recover all the way. That's one symptom, like you've got things that don't completely clear up. When you're making your change, don't feel pressure to do it perfectly and don't try to do it all at the same time. Pick foods like Swiss chard that you totally can live without and get rid of the spinach smoothies. It's a waste of your time and money. You know, there's simple things you can do to start lowering your oxalate. Pick the foods, the high foods that you don't need in your life and then eventually get down to the chocolate and cut that too.